Way out in the frozen dark, past the last planet you know by name, lies a mysterious region, ancient, untouched, and mostly invisible to the naked eye. It's a place where sunlight barely grazes the surface of anything, and where relics from the very birth of our solar system drift in eternal silence. To get there, you'd have to pass every planet we know, rocky Mars, stormy Jupiter, the icy giants Uranus and Neptune, until finally you reach a distant frontier few have dared to explore, the Kuiper Belt. This isn't just a scattering of space rocks. The Kuiper Belt is a cosmic time capsule, an icy ring stretching from 30 to 50 astronomical units away from the sun. It holds secrets that have survived over 4.6 billion years, remnants of a time when the solar system was still forming. Inside this vast halo of frozen debris are dwarf planets like Pluto, Haumea, Makemake, and Eris, alongside countless smaller icy bodies and over a trillion comets. But before this icy realm was confirmed, Pluto was considered a lonely wanderer in the solar system. Its tiny size and offbeat orbit puzzled astronomers for decades. It wasn't until 1992 when astronomers David Jewett and Jane Liu discovered 1992 QB1 that the existence of the Kuiper Belt was finally confirmed, a breakthrough that changed everything. To understand how vast this region is, let's imagine a journey. Starting at the Sun, you pass Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. Then, beyond the asteroid belt, where rocky leftovers swirl between Mars and Jupiter, you enter the domain of the gas and ice giants. And then, at the edge of Neptune's orbit, the Kuiper Belt begins. Compared to the asteroid belt's narrow ring, the Kuiper Belt is enormous, dozens of astronomical units wide, filled with ancient icy material made of methane, ammonia, and water ice. It's colder, darker, and quieter than any place we've ever explored. And yet, despite its size, the Kuiper Belt today is only a shadow of what it once was. Early on, this region may have held seven to ten times the mass of Earth. But the chaotic gravitational dance of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune scattered much of that material away, leaving behind only a fraction, about 10% of Earth's mass. Collisions within the belt and Neptune's gravitational tug sometimes send icy bodies inward, transforming them into short-period comets. Famous visitors like Halley's Comet and Shoemaker-Levy 9 likely started their journeys here. And while these icy travelers may seem ominous, rest assured, there's no immediate threat from Kuiper Belt comets reaching Earth anytime soon. But the Kuiper Belt doesn't end at 50 astronomical units. Beyond its outer edge lies a wild frontier known as the Scattered Disk, where objects orbit chaotically out to nearly 1,000 astronomical units and beyond. And even farther still, enveloping everything in a distant shell, is the mysterious Oort Cloud. The Kuiper Belt and the Oort Cloud are like the solar system's deep freeze archives, each storing ancient icy remnants from the earliest days of our cosmic neighborhood. While they both produce comets, their differences in structure, distance, and dynamics are vast. The Kuiper Belt, for instance, resembles a flattened disk or a cosmic donut, extending from about 30 to 50 astronomical units, AU, beyond Neptune. It's a relatively close neighbor in galactic terms, orbiting in the same general plane as the planets. This region is home to short-period comets, which orbit the Sun in under 200 years and usually travel along paths aligned with the solar system's ecliptic. On the other hand, the Oort cloud is an immense, spherical shell that may stretch out to 100,000 astronomical units, almost a quarter of the way to Proxima Centauri, the nearest star. Unlike the orderly orbits of the Kuiper Belt, Oort cloud objects can fall toward the Sun from any direction, explaining why the long-period comets it produces often appear out of nowhere, following wildly elongated orbits that can take thousands or even millions of years to complete. Scientists believe these comets were ejected from the inner solar system early in its history, scattered by gravitational interactions with the giant planets until they formed this distant halo. Despite being almost unimaginably far away, these two icy realms are crucial to understanding how the solar system formed and evolved. 
they contain pristine materials left over from the protoplanetary disk that birthed our sun and planets. Studying them, whether through comet observations, spacecraft missions, or telescope data, offers rare glimpses into the ingredients and conditions that shaped our cosmic origins. Unlike the Oort cloud, we've actually set robotic eyes on the Kuiper belt. In 2015, NASA's New Horizons spacecraft made a historic journey, flying past Pluto and offering humanity its very first close-up look at this distant world. The spacecraft beamed back breathtaking images of a surprisingly complex and dynamic dwarf planet, far from the dull, frozen rock many had expected. One of its most striking features was Sputnik Planitia, a vast heart-shaped glacier stretching over 1,000 kilometers wide and plunging up to four kilometers deep. This icy plain, composed mostly of nitrogen ice, is possibly the largest glacier in the solar system and has challenged scientists to rethink what small, cold worlds are capable of. But New Horizons didn't stop at Pluto. In 2019, it ventured even deeper into the Kuiper Belt and encountered a bizarre object known as 2014 MU69, later named Arakoth, meaning sky in the Powhatan Algonquian language. Shaped like a flattened snowman, Arakoth consists of two lobes gently pressed together, forming what scientists call a contact binary. This structure suggests a slow, gentle coalescence rather than a violent collision, implying that some planetesimals, the building blocks of planets, may form through the gradual collapse of a cloud of local material. The quiet grace of Arakoth's formation may be a window into the very earliest, most peaceful processes of planetary birth, challenging traditional models and opening new lines of inquiry into how our solar system came to be. New Horizons is expected to exit the Kuiper Belt around 2028 to 2029, marking the end of a historic era of direct exploration in this distant frontier. Although no additional flybys are currently on the books, NASA and other space agencies are actively analyzing potential new missions that could delve even deeper into this icy wilderness. With the powerful James Webb Space Telescope now online, astronomers can observe Kuiper Belt objects, KBOs, in greater detail than ever before, studying their composition, surface chemistry, and even atmospheres from afar. These remote observations could guide the next wave of missions, potentially including landers, orbiters, or even robotic sample return spacecraft capable of retrieving pristine material from the edge of our solar system. Though the Kuiper Belt lies in a realm of deep cold and darkness, it pulses with scientific potential. Every icy shard and tumbling dwarf planet carries clues to the early processes that shaped our cosmic neighborhood. These ancient bodies are like time capsules, their surfaces largely unchanged since the birth of the solar system. As our instruments grow more sophisticated and our ambitions stretch farther, we are poised to unlock more of the Kuiper Belt's long-held secrets, transforming this quiet outer zone into one of the most exciting frontiers in planetary science. Thanks for coming along on this incredible adventure to the farthest edges of our solar system. Exploring the mysteries of the Kuiper Belt is like flipping through the forgotten pages of our cosmic history, and I'm so glad you were here to experience it with me. If you found this journey fascinating, give it a thumbs up, share it with your fellow space lovers, and be sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss another deep dive into the universe. A huge shout out to our amazing Patreon crew, your support is what fuels this mission. If you're curious about what's next and want early access to videos, ad-free viewing, and even a chance to vote on future topics, check out the link in the description and become part of the team. Until we meet again, keep looking to the stars, stay curious, and always wonder what lies in the great cosmic beyond.